Do you think we're too young for a rocking chair? Of course not. We're never too young for a rocking chair. Let's rock! Yeah! crafters welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make DIY Barbie rocking chair as usual I'm not giving you a printable pattern but I'm gonna show you how to make it yourself it's so easy Now these are our two main patterns and it's gonna be like this later. Let's put them all together using hot glue. Make sure it's still flexible to move like this. Using any glue, stack the legs like this so it has some thickness. Now let's cover some ugly texture of the cardboard using felt fabric. the real star choose any fabric you like just make sure it's easy to work with
adding some more hot glue on these tricky corners. Now let's cover the front side. Using any carton, make some more pattern A. For the seat part, you have to remeasure it to find your own perfectly fit size. This is my size. Find yours. And also to the head part. Just remember never to make it too tight. You can glue the seat pad here but I'm gonna do something for the head part so don't glue it yet so this is what I'm gonna do just follow what I'm doing For the string, I'm using something really teeny tiny like this. Just match it to your design. It's just the tiniest bits I can find. And remember, always to use pointy gun while working with teeny tiny things. And here is mine. Now you can glue it to the chair. Now back to carton A. It's not gonna be fit anymore, so you have to reshape it. Just reshape it till you're happy with it. glue it to the chair this is a little tricky part to glue so this is what I do put the glue only to the middle part and then continue to fix this part now let's continue to cover some ugly part of the chair using this and 
the chair body part is done, let's continue to the legs. First, you have to remeasure the thickness of the legs and use the number to make these pieces of paper. Then cover this part using any glue. Here they are. Next, you can paint it into a matching color to your chair. I'm gonna paint it magenta using acrylic paint. Relax, we're not done yet. This is the last thing you have to do using wood dowel. So, this is the stopper. I'm gonna explain it later, why do we have to do it? And now you can reshape the dowel using hot glue, because for me it's kinda hard to cut the dowel into a perfect shape. So let's just fix it. And after you're happy with it, let's paint it into the same color. And voila, we're done! So about the stopper, actually it's an accidental design. I didn't do it before and this is what happened, the chair just fell down because it's heavier on the back. It turns out not so easy to make a rocking chair, it's a little bit rocket science. Anyway, I tried to create another design using stretch velvet, gold half pearl and gold ball chain. So you really need to use pointy gun to do the ball chain because it's quite small and tricky. But yes, you can do it. So, this is how it swings. Okay, I'm not so happy about the swing. This is how it swings when I put the Barbie on. Maybe you can help me by leaving your comment down below to tell me how to make it swing in a better way. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please leave your comment down below and like and subscribe and See you in my other video. Bye!